All right, we're going to learn about Java. So Java is a pretty cool language. It is a little bit difficult for like a very beginner just because you have to tell it, you know, precisely what you want it to do, what type of data you're storing in each variable, etc. So that can be a little bit tedious, but it is a cross platform language. You can run this on a bunch of different operating systems, Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. And you can create actual apps and stuff with this, you know, GUIs and stuff. For the beginning, of course, we're just going to be working off the council until we get the hang of the language and then we can move on from there. So first things first, you will need to download this language. The development kit doesn't usually come with your operating system. So let's go ahead and go to oracle.com. And then I'm just going to go to downloads and then under popular downloads, you'll see Java SE, which is the standard edition. So let's click on that. And then right here in the middle, you can see the Java platform and the Java development kit right here. So I'll provide a link right here in the description so you can immediately jump to this. Hopefully it doesn't change. If it does, just do a search for it. Now you'll click on this one right here and right here you'll see the latest versions of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the very latest version right here. So let's hit accept and then pick out, of course, your operating system. So I'm running Windows 64 bit. That's right here. Click on that. It will start the download as you can see. Once that is complete, run it. Once that is fully installed, now we're going to open up our command prompt in Windows. So if you have something else, open up your console. And what we want to do is type out Java and hit enter. And we're just going to make sure that it did install. If it did, you should see all these options right here. Now the Java machine doesn't actually read plain source code text. You have to compile each of your files into class files before it can read that bytecode and interpret it basically into binary code, which your machine could read. So basically just type out Java C with no space and hit enter and make sure this is working. As you can see right here, it says it's not recognized as internal or external command. So let's go ahead and add that to our CMD path so that we don't have to provide the full path to this Java C executable. So to do that, I'm going to go to control panel and system and security and then system. And then we can go to advanced system settings and in the advanced tab, you should have environment variables right here. If you don't want to hassle with all that navigating, you should be able to just type out environment variables like so. And it says edit the system environment variables. Click on that and it should open up this dialog right here. So let's click this. And then as you can see the path down here, we're going to click edit. Now in here, you will probably already have your Java path, which is why your regular just Java command worked. If this command didn't work either, don't worry, the path we're going to add includes the Java executable. So where is that path? Let's go to our file explorer, our main drive, which is my C and program files. In here, we're going to go to Java and then the JDK, the development kit right here and finally bin in here this folder includes your regular java executable as well as your java c executable which will convert your files so let's copy this folder path and then go back to here and hit new and paste that path in there now i'm going to go ahead and move this folder to the very top just so that it's by the other one and that it's used before the other one and then we can click ok ok if your command prompt is still open, go ahead and close that and rerun it. Now try to type in Java C and you can see that now we get our options for converting our files. And if the Java wasn't working before, now it should work as well. All right, so that is it. Just making sure that everything is installed correctly. If you're having problems, uh, leave them in the comments or search on the web to make sure that you're installing it correctly. And I'll see you on the next one.